Greetings from Dubai, where I've been serving here for the last month on a mission project. Now, what does it really mean to step out in faith? I've left England, come all this way to Dubai to work on a service project, service mission project, but what does it really mean to step out in faith and do this? Because I've been here but ne haven't necessarily seen the evidence of the work that the Lord has been instructing me to do. Now, a Bible text that comes to mind is Hebrews 11.1. 1. For faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now another word for substance is realisation. So in other words, I hope it's real, I hope these things happen, but I won't necessarily see the evidence of these things. Now, what does the word faith actually mean? I looked up the word faith in the concordance and three things came to mind. Trust, belief, and the character of one who can be relied upon. Now question, can you rely on everybody? Can you rely on anybody 100%? Now there's only one person that I, I know personally that I can rely 100% on. Now this is what it means to step out in faith. Giving 100% of your whole being to something that you may not necessarily see the evidence for. Now, a story comes to mind when I, when I think about these things. About 200 years ago, an event took place in Wales where people decided to give their life to Christ. Because of this conversion, a group decided to travel all the way to Northern India to spread the gospel. Now, because of this action, they tried to find a group of people to work for, to try and minister to. And they found a group in Northern India where people's heads would get chopped off and put around the campsite in order to ward off enemies. So that you can tell that this was a fierce group of people. But nonetheless, this family, this group of people decided to go and minister. Now this work was tiresome and they didn't necessarily see the fruits of, of their work straight away. But because of their hard work and dedication and trust in God, they managed to witness to one family. Now because they witnessed to this one family, this family took it upon themselves to spread the gospel amongst their vicious tribe. Now interestingly enough, they found it very, very difficult at first. But eventually, the gospel began to move within this tribe. But the tribe leader, heard of what was taking place and he wasn't very pleased. So he ordered this family to a meeting, this, this, this newly converted family to a meeting. And he said to the family, which consisted of a wife, two boys and a father. He said to the father, looked him in the eye and said, if you do not renounce your faith, I'm gonna order these archers to pull back the trigger and kill your two boys. Now without thought, the father turned around and said, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The archers pulled back the trigger, fired and hit his sons. Now his two sons dead on the floor, the king again looked him in the eye and said, if you do not renounce your faith, I'm gonna kill your wife right now. Without a shadow of a doubt, the father turned around and said, the husband turned around and said, the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. The story doesn't end there. The king then turned around and said, I'm gonna kill you if you do not renounce your faith. Now with this father, this husband had nothing to lose his wife, his king, his, sorry, his wife, his sons are dead in front of him. He looks at the king and says, though, no gun, though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Now this story didn't just end there, because the point is this. Because of the faith of this family, the, the tribal leader in that moment 
renounced his beliefs and said, I will follow God. Because of the faith this family he showed, he said to himself, this family had so much belief in the gospel that this must be something to worth dying for. He professed to follow Jesus Christ and began converting the tribes, with the local tribes near to him within Northern India. Now imagine this, if that family had not stepped out in faith and said, listen, I may not see the fruits of me dying right now by not renouncing my faith, but because of the character of one who can be relied upon, I'm gonna do it anyhow. And amazingly, the fruits were only seen after their death. Though, no gone with, no, though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The cross, be, sorry, the, the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back, no turning back. Now I, I ask you this question. Is it your desire to step out in faith Put the world behind you, the cross before you, and say, Lord, I don't know what the results of me stepping out in faith are. I don't know what's gonna happen when I speak to my neighbor, when I speak to my school friend, when I get on a plane and go serve in a mission somewhere. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm putting my trust 100% in you. If this is your desire, I pray you go in faith. No turning back, no turning back.